Hi everyone, I'm Lori Donnelly. I'm a film programmer for the Jewish Film Institute, who since 1980 have been bringing you the best in Jewish cinema for the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival. And it is my great pleasure to introduce the director of the film, Mr. Daniel Howold. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Yeah, and it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Howold. <laughs> and Mr. Martin Miller. Name? Howold. <laughs> Howold. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. I can pronounce Martin Miller just, just perfectly. Um, I'd like to start off because this film, uh, you know, sparks so much discussion. And uh, I'm, I'm always curious with uh, documentarians how subjects and directors first meet each other. So I was wondering if uh, the both of you can, can explain that process for us. Uh, yeah, I, well, do you want to start, Martin? No, dollars. Okay, I will I try to make it short and Martin sure. can... Uh, add some information. I we met because I heard a radio program when I was driving on the highway in the night, and I heard a voice, which was Martin's voice, and uh, they spoke about Alice Miller, and then I realized that's her son. That was already a first information. I was uh huh. I didn't know she had a son because I knew her books from my studies earlier oh. at university. And then I heard all this story Martin told. He was invited to speak about the book he published, uh, the, uh, the True Drama of the Gifted Child, as the English title, title. And then I immediately felt, okay, I have to contact this man. I was not sure, maybe already a lot of, of uh, directors want to catch him, <laughs> but I was lucky and I uh, sent him an email and he answered immediately. And then we start to meet each other and went through a long period of knowing each other, building up some trust. I think this was important also for Martin a lot. Certainly. Because, yeah, it's, it's, uh, he opens up very much in this movie, and this is not something you do if you're doubtful. Certainly. Certainly. How was it from Beerstas for dich? How was it for you, Martin? Wie war es für dich, Martin? For me, for me, first, I, I don't know what I, I can do with him. I, I was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, was that weird? Confused. I was confused and uh, I don't see a future or a perspective. And uh, uh, suddenly I, I, I feel a chance for me a one times more to uh, to look and uh, to look to my history, my own history, what happened, and uh, so uh, I, 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 I look a lot of my history, and because I'm therapist, psychotherapist since forty and one years, and uh, for me is to find with the patients. Uh, her history and uh, to look for that very important and so I think uh, for my um, uh, authenticity as a therapist and also as a human being is very important that I show also what happened and what's go on when you uh, when you occupy yourself. When, when you occupy yourself with your own history and you show it. So mm -hmm. the trust of the patients, for example, is greater and is more than uh, you, you have also theory. And uh, so I said, uh, and so I began uh, to interest me and uh, I uh, at Leben heißt, I, I lived a lot of uh, in in uh, during uh, to to produce the film, 
uh, most in Poland because I was never in Poland. And thanks to Daniel, I come the first time to Poland and I can uh, tell. tell a little a little thing, a little story. Uh, my, my parents came from Poland and uh, the, uh, Polish is my mother language, theoretical, but they don't learn me Polish, but always they speak together Polish in my presence. And uh, it was uh, very, I, I, I feel I, 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 I'm exclused in the family. And we arrived in Poland in the hotel and everybody speak Polish and I didn't understand nothing. And in this moment come all my adventure of the childhood uh, come up. And it was terrible for me to come uh, to Poland. And uh, so began uh, uh, began a trip with the film. Uh, it, it was uh, sometimes for me very, 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 very uh, heavy because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, remembers come on. And uh, so you feel also when you look the film uh, that I have a lot of feelings. Of course, of course. Martin. Just let me add one, one short thing. When I met Martin, I, I found immediately, yes, this is an interesting personality, of course. He has some uh, energy inside him. And I also felt immediately, okay, I sit in front of somebody who was born after the war who came never directly in touch, but yet he was like a, a victim of the Holocaust, born in Switzerland in peace, uh, f f quite a bit far from it anyway. And this, uh, I think, is the big story of Martin's family story, which tells us uh, this is not finished when it was finished. This war, it's still going on, and Martin had this burden until today, maybe a bit, a bit less nowadays, I hope. But it's really something which, which this story tells, and Martin was open for that. It is, it's such um, an interesting examination of intergenerational trauma. Um, exactly. Obviously, yeah. particularly as it relates to the Holocaust. Um, Daniel, I was curious because it is such uh, a personal um, experience for, for Martin as a documentarian. Um, mm -hmm. Were there ever times that you felt um, you needed to pull back, uh, you know, less as a filmmaker and more of, um, you know, this is, this is too personal or um, how, did you, how did you handle such intimate scenes? Well, I, I, th I really, I think it, it was a matter of, of trust and we, we, we didn't meet each other and then went for shooting. It was really a long period of developing and speaking together. And actually, I was more anxious that maybe nothing will happen or maybe the feelings will not come up. No? And so I, for me, it was very important not to, to stage anything because a lot of docu documentaries are kind of staged nowadays. What you see in this movie is real. It happened like this, just shrinked down <laughs> a lot from 100 hours to 100 minutes. But the moment after maybe when the film was edited and I showed it the first time to Martin, I was nervous because I knew there were these very emotional scenes where he is showing his feelings, his uh, feeling of being hurt, everything. And I was afraid he was maybe saying, we can't do that or take this out. And of course I was thinking as a, as a filmmaker and you want to tell the story. And I wanted always to tell the story by emotions, not by speaking and talking over it, but really dig in. Uh 
Martin, I, I found it interesting that both you and your cousin Arenka decided to pursue psychotherapy after studying other disciplines. So mm -hmm. I was wondering, um, for, why did you become uh, a therapist? And second of all, what kind of influence did Arenka have on your work, if any influence? Uh, the first question, I was always interesting about psychology and my father was a sociologist uh, so, uh, and a professor for sociolo sociology. And uh, I, I feel that I have a, a certain feeling uh, to, to observe people. And uh, this was also the problem with my parents because uh, you, you spoke uh, before about uh, transgenerational uh, heritage and uh, they, they gave me the trauma what that happened in the war. I grow up, I'm uh, convinced about it, that I was a Jewish, in Warsaw, my father was the blackmailer and my mother survived uh, to, to, to be uh, in, fall in love with my father. So they continue uh, this uh, work that I made in, in, during the war, also with me as the Jewish. For example, uh, uh, the Orthodox Jewish don't speak Polish and they exclude me to learn Polish. And they say always, you, are, you have to be a good Swiss man. And uh, I was yet uh, 65 years old and I, I see the Swiss dialect and Yiddish are very similar. And so I, I see I'm, I'm uh, the Jewish in Warsaw. And for me, it was always very interesting to observe people. And I began as teacher with children and I see I seen uh, I can uh, was has uh, uh, I I don't have influence to the children to to do something and uh, this was also a motivation to become a psychotherapist and uh, I'm not in a in a group I make alone my way <laughs> and. Uh, Today, I'm very happy that I have made this, this way. And uh, I make also my, made also my education as therapist by the first trauma therapist in the world. This was uh, Professor Bastians in Leiden in Holland. And uh, it, it was 40 years ago. And everybody in Switzerland laughed uh, because uh, I spoke about trauma. And we don't have trauma therapists. Uh, we, we need a lot, for example, uh, uh, also in the United States, uh, when uh, the, the, the soldier come home from Vietnam or from Iraq or from Afghanistan, they don't want, didn't want to pay a therapy for these people. They, they became uh, alcoholic or drugs or they suicide. We have in our society, uh, we are opposite, opposite. An opposition versus, uh, versus uh, mm -hmm. uh, trauma. And we don't want to speak about it. And I see, I have a lot of people they have a, a very great trauma and no therapist will understand. 
and will uh, therapy, make a therapy. And uh, I've seen also the interview with uh, Oprah or Winfrey with uh, Lady Gaga, and she says, I was traumatized, and now they gave me pills. <laughs> and uh, she suffered also about this. And uh, it's not a problem to, to, to make a therapy with a person like this when you understand how you have to handle uh, everything. And that's the, the uh, a motivation, was a motivation for me uh, to become therapist and... Uh, you know, when you see, uh, when you have parents, they don't have made a therapy about her war trauma and you have to suffer because they repeat and uh, they, uh, they, they make a heritage uh, transgenerational. So I'm very glad uh, that I have uh, worked about my... Uh, past, my history, and I can help other people. And that is also a motivation for me to become a therapist. And uh, the film was for me a very great chance, personally. <laughs> Daniel, um, I, I assume that, uh, you know, you, you really very deftly weave uh, Irenka's journey um, Sort of as a, as a corollary to to um, to Martin's journey, and I'm assuming that that came about organically. That Martin, you know, was the original subject, and then because her story was so interesting in it, you know, um, how did you how did you weave those threads together? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of threads in the movie. It was always clear it will be a movie about. Uh, Martin and the relationship to his mother, not the Alice Miller film. This was at the beginning. And then there were a lot of uh, researches. I went quite a few times to Poland and uh, was searching for people who could support Martin, who are interesting for a film, uh, which uh, archives we can visit, all this. And then uh, I mean, there was a kind of a plan because you dealing, it's a relationship, a family story. His mother is dead and somehow you have to bring her for a movie, you have to bring her to life. So of course it was a plan to have certain, certain uh, letters, which I feel are very interesting because uh, Martin gave me about 2000 letters, the communication between them and it shows it's a really deep insight, and it was quite clear. I will, I will use this to to develop the story and to to show the different uh, journey and it takes and and different layers it has. I was really impressed by the network of psychologists, therapists, historians, journalists, archivists that you got as a team to really come together uh, to sort of crack this case and the way it unfolds. And, you know, you see um, yourselves coalescing as a team sort of in this interest of, of mm -hmm. digging and, and finding out this truth. It's, it's really, it's fascinating. And it's, um, you know, it's, it, it's such a wonderful, wonderful thing that you've, you've done. Uh, Martin, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious, uh, did this film, was it, um, was there a level of, of catharsis for you in, in this? Did it help you uh, not bury it necessarily, but maybe be it uh, more peace with what's happened to you in your childhood? Yes, yes. Uh, I, had, I had three goals uh, for me personally. The so first is I bring back all the was has a übertragung has the transference of the war of my parents i bring back to poland because it's not my problem because i don't live in this war the second goal was for me that i have the first time 
and it was uh, very successful for me. Uh, a human relationship to my parents. My parents was very abstract for me. And since this work with Daniel in Poland became my parents a human uh, form. They are human. And uh, the, the third goal was I will... Was that the funeral? Bury. 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 I will bury uh, my parents in Poland and uh, all three goals I uh, arrived, I, I, I achieved. Yes. Uh, I'm wondering, um, Daniel, if you can talk a little bit, uh, if you're at liberty too, about your your next project. What are we? What, are, what can we look forward to from you? Well, <laughs> it's a right now. I am uh, writing a scenario, but this is about fiction. This is a director who asked me to to write the story, which is something completely different. And you know about the documentary project. I'm a little bit picky because you can make a lot of documentary about this or that or so many films are made, but to find a really a topic who is really strong like this story, I think this is something which has come to you. You cannot just say, okay, let's do something about uh, this or that. So I'm just observing, reading, listening and waiting and, but I, I hope I will find a story strong like this again, because I definitely like stories who have different layers, not just a personal story, not just a historical story, but a really interweaving story where which you can express with through protagonists with emotions. And so right now I don't have this new project. I'm still waiting for it, but I think it will come now. <laughs> I'm trustful. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Right. Daniel Howald, Howald, <laughs> and Mr. <laughs> Martin Miller. And Martin, thank you so much uh, to your wife off screen, who's been so lovely to translate for us. So thank, thank you to you. her too. Thank and thank you all of you who are, who are watching and, with us tonight. And I hope that a lot of people look the film. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes, it's, it's a really special film.